Hey y'all, so I have an exciting package that came in the mail from Vivant Skincare. I have been hearing about Vivant forever. I go to Spa Tribe and all my estheticians constantly rave about Vivant. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little review video of the products they sent and my first impressions of the brand. Their products that they sent me are the Vivant Daily Treatment Lotion, their SPF 15, their Skin Nourishing Toner, their Mandelic Acid 3-in-1 Wash, their 8% Mandelic Acid Serum, and of course, I've posted this about there before, their famous Vivant Maxi Lip Lip Plumper. I'm lying, actually. I have tried Vivant products before because I tried their lip plumper. But I'm probably most excited out of everything to try their Mandelic Acid. I'm not sure why, I just feel like Vivant is known for their Mandelic Acid and Mandelic is so underrated. There's just really not a, a lot of Mandelic products on the market today. And like I said, all my estheticians at Spa Tribe, they're constantly talking about using the Mandelic. And the cool thing about the Mandelic as well, it's amazing for treating acne. It's great for pretty much all skin types and it's pregnancy safe. So before we get into it, I thought I would tell you a little bit about the brand. This is a medical grade skincare brand, um, transformative skincare. So that's going to tell us if you're wanting to see results in your skin, you're more likely to get that with a brand like this. I believe it was founded and formulated by James E. Fulton, MD and PhD. It's a dermatological line, which is basically another way to say medical grade. So being formulated with very transformative ingredients, you're going to see the results that you're wanting because it has the evidence-based results to back it. So let's get started. First one I'm going to try today since it's morning time is their sunscreen. It's called the Day Treatment Lotion SPF 15. A couple things about this. SPF 15, which is still great, it's better than nothing, but I usually like to wear sunscreens that are at least SPF 30. So with this one already, I would have to reapply more frequently. You should apply it daily to protect from the damaging effects of UV radiation, including inflammation, fine lines, and acne scarring. So yeah, very, very true. If you're not wearing sunscreen every day and you're trying to treat acne scarring, that's going to be working against you. You need to make sure you're wearing sunscreen to prevent any dark spots you have or scarring from getting darker and even more inflamed. And it says to reapply frequently during outdoor recreation, which yes, I'd also recommend. It's acne safe, UV protection and moisture, and it's lightweight. Nice thing about great sunscreens like this is that in the morning, I really don't have to apply extra moisturizer. So um, I don't know if you can tell, I've already applied toner and my vitamin C and my hyaluronic, and then my sunscreen will be my very last step. I want you to be able to see it clearly. Yeah, it's definitely lightweight. It's runny, but not so runny where it's just like straight liquid, which I like. Smell is nice. It smells almost, it's a light smell, but kind of reminds me of herbs a little bit. One thing already that I'm already loving, I don't really usually have to deal with white cast when it comes to sunscreen, but definitely sometimes with really thick sunscreens, it leaves behind a bit of a film it takes a while and definitely leaves my skin looking more pale, which I hate, especially in the winter. I hate looking pale. It makes me look sickly. So, and this sunscreen does not do that. It's, even though it's a white formula, it just blends in really nicely and does not leave any white cast on my skin. Kind of gives like a little glowy after effect, but not too glowy. That is sunscreen so far it's just like a great staple really easy to apply and like I said earlier won't have those annoying white cast effects and really easy to blend which makes it more likely for me to apply sunscreen and that's the biggest thing you just need to find a sunscreen that's easy for you and that you actually like so that you'll actually take the time to apply it because <laughs> otherwise you won't okay product one down 
it was a great one. Next up, next product to try from Vivon, the Skin Nourishing Toner. A little about this one, it's a gentle and refreshing alcohol-free toner for fine skin texture as it removes dirt, oil, and pore clogging dead skin cells. Ideal for sensitive skin and is pregnancy safe. Let's try it. It's the perfect time for me to try this because I want to do a couple more days without exfoliating, but still want to bring in some actives in the skincare routine tonight. So let's get started. If you don't know, you always want to apply your skincare from thinnest to thickest. So toners, they're basically just like water. Actually it says to apply with a cotton pad, but honestly, I feel like I can apply toners just fine with my hands. Mmm, that feels good. Smells similar to the sunscreen. Then just pressing it in, it'll let my skin drink it up. It's really, really nice. It's really nice. It's nice to have a toner in my toner collection now beyond just hydrating mists, even though facial mists and hydrating toners, they're amazing. Like I will always have use for them. It's nice to have something that's actually working a little bit more for me and for my skin goals. So oh, I love it so far. I would say I'm not gonna rate anything yet, but this could be a four out of five. Okay, and then just to quickly show you what else I'm doing tonight, I'm using a retinol eye cream. I like using my retinol eye creams at night and my caffeine eye cream in the morning. Retinol eye creams are going to help with any dark circles and obviously preventing crow's feet and lines around the eyes. And I'll go in with a hyaluronic acid next using this one by PCA. It's their Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. I don't know, lately I've just been really loving Hyaluronic for some reason. Usually I'm like, eh, just one more step, can't be bothered, but I do like this one a lot. Okay, I think I'll skip retinol tonight. I like to take it easy on nights that I try new products. Use this brow serum by Grande Cosmetics. It's definitely been helping my brows grow, but now for the first time ever, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I need to get my brows waxed and shaped and tinted, and I've never done that before, ever. <laughs> okay, and I'll finish with my Osea Water Cream. This one's a really cool moisturizer, I'll show you. So it's this pretty blue color. It, it's definitely in the name. It's a water cream. Like, it's straight watery. It's thick, but it's a different consistency. I don't know if I can really describe it well or how to describe it. It's thick, but still lightweight at the same time. I feel kind of like a mermaid using this one. Okay, then to soak and seal in all of that goodness, I'm going in with my Aquaphor. I don't really call this slugging. I know a lot of people do, I never really do that. Maybe it's because I literally just use a tiny amount. I don't know if it's enough to really call it slugging, but. All right. So that is the end of my little nighttime routine, trying the new toner. In a couple days, I will move on to the mandelic acid. Excited to see what this mandelic is all about. It's officially time to try the mandelic acid cleanser. They also sent me the serum, but I'm going to start with the cleanser since it's my first time ever using mandelic acid. If you have to go with a serum or a cleanser, a cleanser is a lot more gentle. It's not as potent and doesn't absorb into the skin as deeply as a serum. So this is kind of a good starting point. I will be cleansing and we'll see how it is. Feels nice and gentle. Have a nice lather going on, which is always nice. 
kind of interesting. You could actually apply this to the face, scalp, or body. Well, my skin just feels super silky smooth, especially when I was cleansing that off. And honestly, I've just been noticing my skin has been looking so glowy, very minimal congestion, and I usually get congestion up in this area. And I've just been loving it. I hope it stays this way, and it totally wouldn't surprise me if the new Vivant products I've been using and working into my routine has been a factor in that. I'm going to actually use their toner next. So all in all, I have really, really enjoyed using their products and I just want to keep trying more after loving these so much. Technically, I still have my Mandelic Acid Serum to try, so I will have to do another update on that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.